Hi, this is Matthew Park. This is the 7th grade lesson 14 video. Let's get started. Number 1. How much longer is the mosquito compared to the ant? When we're asked about the mosquito and the ant, looking at the data table, we have two values of length for both of the insects. So to find out how much longer the mosquito is compared to the ant, all we need to do is subtract the length of the mosquito, which is 3.14, by the length of the ant, which is 1.25. Solving this, we get 1.89. So our answer would be B. Basically, well, all we did was we subtracted the length of the mosquito and the length of the ant to get how much longer the mosquito was. Moving on to number two, how long are the June bug and the ant combined? This time we're asked about the June bug and the ant, and they want to know how long they are combined. So to find that combined length, all we have to do is add the length of the June bug and the ant together. Doing so, we get 11, carry the one, that turns into six, three. 3.61, therefore our answer would be C. Moving on to number three, how much longer is the butterfly compared to the ant and the mosquito together? So this one has two parts. One, they're gonna ask us how much longer is the butterfly compared to the ant and the mosquito together? Well, to solve this, we can first find how long the mosquito and the ant are together. To do that, what we're going to do is take the length of the mosquito and the ant and add them together. So we take these two lengths, add them together, we get 4.39. Now to solve the second part of the question, we're asked how much longer is the butterfly compared to that combined length? What we're going to do is we're going to take the length of the butterfly and we're going to subtract it with this combined length. Solving this, our final answer would be 1.35. Therefore, our answer would be A. Essentially, all we did was that first, we found the length of the ant and the mosquito together by adding their two lengths. Then we subtracted the length of the butterfly with that newly combined length to find out how much longer the butterfly was compared to the ant and the mosquito together. Moving on to number four. How many more points did Owen score than Anna? This is another subtraction problem. They want to know how many more points Owen scored than Anna. So we subtract the number of points Owen got with the number of points Anna got. Another simple subtraction problem. We get, oops, looks like I made an error. Seven minus six would actually be one, not three. Make sure to double check your work. So our answer would be A. For number five, how many points did Evan and Morgan score together? This one is a simple addition problem. So we take the number of points Evan scored and the number of points Morgan scored, and we add them together. Solving this, we get 43.55, making our answer D. You can try that last one on your own. So for this one, we have find the quotient in fraction form. Essentially, when we need to divide a number by a fraction, so say we had 1 over 2 divided by, say, 2 over 1. To solve this, what we can do is rewrite the division sign as a multiplication sign, and then write the second fraction as its reciprocal, or flip the numbers. So we get 1 over 2 making our answer one-fourth. 
So essentially, to solve division fraction problems, what we do first is that we flip the numbers of this fraction, so the top and the bottom ones together, and then we change the division sign into a multiplication sign. So putting that into practice, let's try number two. We have 15 divided by 3 over 4, negative. So first, we flip these two numbers to get negative 4 over 3. And then we change the division sign into a multiplication sign. Now, all we have is a simple multiplication by fractions problem. We can cancel out the like terms, 1 and 5, and we get negative 20 for number 2. We can try one more. Let's look at number 8. We have 8 divided by negative 4 over 11. So remember, we swap the top and the bottom number together. So we get 11 over negative 4. And we change this division sign into a multiplication sign. Again, we can combine out like terms. And we get negative 22 for our answer. Now remember these two steps of flipping the fraction and then changing the sign into a multiplication sign when you're solving these kinds of problems. We can end off by looking at a word problem. Looking at number one, free diving means diving without the aid of breathing equipment. Suppose that an athlete free dives to an elevation of negative 42 meters in 60 seconds. Find the average rate of change in the diver's elevation, or in other words, meters per second. So essentially, to find the average rate of change in the diver's elevation, we need meters over seconds. And we're given two of those values. We're given a certain number of meters and a certain number of of seconds. So all we need to do is fill out this information in this fraction form. So we have negative 42 meters and it's going to be over however many seconds we have, which is 60 seconds. Now to simplify this, we can simplify the fraction by dividing. Remember it would be the top divided by the bottom, or in other words, 42 divided by 60. This is going to be a decimal division problem. And we get 0 0.7 negative. So by simplifying this fraction and putting it into decimal form, what we get is negative 0.7 meters per second. I hope this was helpful, and thank you.